Hi everyone, and welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to be talking about Archangels. Archangels are some of the most powerful and important beings in the angelic hierarchy. They are often depicted as messengers of God, and they are said to have a special role in protecting humanity. In this video, we're going to explore the history of Archangels, their different roles, and how you can connect with them. Archangels are the highest order of angels in the angelic hierarchy. They are often depicted as messengers of God, and they are said to have a special role in protecting humanity. The word Archangel comes from the Greek words Arkos meaning chief and Angelos meaning messenger. This means that Archangels are literally chief messengers. The Bible mentions a few specific Archangels, including Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael. Michael is the most well-known Archangel, and he is often depicted as leading the battle against Satan and his forces. Gabriel is known for delivering messages from God, such as the announcement to Mary that she would conceive and bear the Son of God. Raphael is known for his healing abilities. And he is often depicted as accompanying Tobias on his journey. In addition to the three archangels mentioned in the Bible, there are also a number of other archangels who are mentioned in other religious texts, such as the Book of Enoch and the Kabbalah. These archangels include Uriel, Sariel, Ragel, and Ramiel. Archangels are said to have a variety of roles. They are often depicted as messengers of God, and they are said to be responsible for protecting humanity. They are also said to be involved in the spiritual development of humans. And they can help us to connect with God and to live our lives in accordance with His will. The belief in Archangels dates back to ancient times. The first mention of Archangels is found in the book of Daniel in the Hebrew Bible. In this book, the angel Gabriel is described as delivering a message from God to Daniel. The New Testament also mentions Archangels. In the book of Revelation, Michael is described as leading the battle against Satan and his forces. Over time, the number of archangels has been debated. Some traditions believe there are only four archangels, Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, and Uriel. Others believe there are more. Archangels are said to have a variety of roles. They are often depicted as messengers of God, and they are said to be responsible for protecting humanity. Some archangels are also associated with specific aspects of life. For example, Michael is often associated with protection. Gabriel is associated with prophecy, and Raphael is associated with healing. If you're interested in connecting with archangels, there are a few things you can do. First, you can try to meditate on their names or images. You can also pray to them or ask for their help. Some people also believe that you can connect with archangels through dreams or visions. If you're open to the possibility, you may be able to receive messages from them in these ways. Archangels are powerful and important beings who have a special role in protecting humanity. If you are interested in learning more about them, I encourage you to do some research and see if you can connect with them yourself. Here are some additional facts about archangels. The number of archangels is debated, but the most common number is four, Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, and Uriel. Archangels are often depicted as having wings, but this is not always the case. Archangels are said to be very powerful beings, and they are often associated with fire and light. Archangels are said to be able to travel between the physical and spiritual realms. Archangels are said to be able to help humans with a variety of things, such as protection, healing, and spiritual development. The four most well-known archangels are Michael, Hebrew 4, who is like God, is the archangel of protection and is often depicted as fighting a dragon. He is said to be the leader of the heavenly hosts and is responsible for leading the battle against evil. Gabriel, Hebrew 4, God is my strength, is the archangel of communication and is often depicted as a messenger. He is said to have delivered messages from God to prophets, such as Daniel and Mary. Raphael, Hebrew 4, God heals, is the archangel of healing and is often depicted as a winged doctor. He is said to have accompanied Tobias on his journey and to have healed his father of blindness. 
Uriel, Hebrew for Light of God, is the Archangel of Wisdom and is often depicted as holding a flaming sword. He is said to be responsible for guiding people on their spiritual journey and for helping them to make wise decisions. In addition to the four archangels mentioned above, there are a number of other archangels who are mentioned in religious texts and in traditional lore. These include Metatron, Hebrew 4, the one who stands next to the throne of God, is said to be the highest ranking angel and is often depicted as a scribe. Sandalphon, Hebrew 4, brother of Raphael, is said to be the twin brother of Raphael and is often depicted as a giant angel. Japhiel, Hebrew 4, beauty of God, is said to be the archangel of beauty and wisdom. Sadkiel, Hebrew 4, righteousness of God, is said to be the archangel of mercy and forgiveness. Haniel, Hebrew 4, grace of God, is said to be the archangel of love and compassion. I hope you enjoyed this video about archangels. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. Thank you.